Now, just how easy is it to open and run a business? Well, with 500,000 businesses said to close down operations each year, our reporter Jasmine Murani spoke to both experts and business owners to find out. For many people, opening and running a business is the ultimate dream. For some, it's an opportunity to break away from employment and become their own boss. For others, it's an opportunity to earn a living in an economy that has seen job losses arising from the COVID-19 pandemic lockdowns or even scalebacks by businesses as the cost of living rises. But for those in business, times are tough. Kazi merudi chini sana. Napata pesa ni ile ile na ile unga ile unaenda kununua ni ile juu. Sasa unashindwa utafanya namna gani ndio ile watoto wa kule na watoto waende shule. Kenya was ranked 56th in the latest World Bank annual ratings on the ease of doing business index based on how conducive the regulatory environment to business operations is. And while this is a fairly good ranking, questions abound on whether business owners view the prevailing business environment as enabling as the report suggests. One of the challenges that we face as a country, of course, in terms of small businesses is we are highly informal, which impedes our, us from playing either in the continental or even global market. Uh, if you are to compare uh, ourselves with China, you know, Indonesia, um, Singapore and other you know, emerging economies, we see government deliberate uh, effort to ensure that uh, uh, SMEs are formalized um, in, whatever, in, in whatever nature, whether it is direct or gradual, and ensuring that that is linked to market. But some business owners disagree. Let me say for all entrepreneurs, we know business is not easy. And um, I know even people who are in employment, they all want to get into entrepreneurship. It has a good share of its challenges, especially now. For anyone who is in business, they will tell you, especially from September, immediately after election, business has been very hard. And you can see now the shilling has really lost value. And uh, you find maybe the sales you're making, they've gone down to not even by half, lower than that. So it's a matter of believing and trusting things will be well, but I can tell people business is not easy. And that's why I encourage people, if you're able to learn different um, streams of businesses, better for you. When one is down, the other one will help it. For example, as we are in the fast moving goods, I can tell you people must eat because that's a basic need. So you find if maybe car hire business is down, you find the other one is raising you up. Maybe in school you are not admitting as you are used to, you find there is some Something that is raising you up so as entrepreneur I would say it is good to have two or three or more businesses now since 2014 it has become considerably easier to set up a business in Kenya the number of procedures has dropped from 10 to 7 additionally the time taken to set up a business has fallen from 32 business days to 14 and even more importantly the cost to set up a business has gone down by 16 percentage points from 38 percent income per capita to just 22 percent but what can the new administration do to help Kenya's large gray economy we are very informal um, uh, market or what we call a gray economy so looking at regulation and a majority are not uh, uh, formalized then it means that we are when we're looking at an index we are looking at uh, less than 2 million of the aggregate uh, SME population so I think the focus uh, should be on how to ensure to incentivize um, our entrepreneurs to be able to formalize their businesses and ensure that process is simple, efficient, and cost-effective. Uh, of course, if you are to uh, link that with incentives, then we should be able to see uh, a significant increment in formalization of businesses. And whatever parameters that we have has to be based on actual and felt needs of SMEs. All this notwithstanding, the facts on the ground indicate that up to half a million businesses close their doors each year, raising the question as to where the disconnect between the reports, expert opinions and the reality lies. Jasmine Murani for KTN News. Right, after that story from Jasmine Murani, we are going to be looking at some of the